This week on Storyboard, how Bach puts television audience measurement into perspective. Storyboard editor Anand Rangaswamy in conversation with actor Hrithik Roshan about his new series HRX Heroes. BCCI unveils its new logo for Vivo IPL 2016. And Shivas launches a campaign with their new brand ambassador Farhan Akhtar. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. This is Shibani Gharat. All broadcasters love to hate the measurement system unless the data is in their favor and shows them in a good light. Whether it is TAM or BARC or both of them combined. Most do not know how to read this data. Last week, Joint Industry Body Broadcast Audience Research Council, that is BARC, released for the first time a composite audience measurement system for rural and urban India. Finally, with this, we get to see what is India watching across the country. How do you interpret this data? Parito Joshi, Principal Provocator Advisory, Bark India, in conversation with storyboard editor Anand Rangaswamy, explains in his unique style how to read the Bark data using a measuring device that we are very well familiar with, a meter rule. Let's take a look. Paritosh, you know my security guys were a little bothered because you walked in with this big fat measure. So please tell me what what you are trying to establish with this. This is a meter rule, yeah. That's a uh, hundred centimeters. Each centimeter is ten millimeters. So that's one thousand millimeters. Now there is there has to be a way by which you can start to visualize what measurement is about and therefore what audience measurement is about. We now have urban plus rural measurement right. in Bark as of last week. The next ratings will come out this week, and we've discovered that the national all India half an hour equivalent viewing is 20.5 billion impressions. Right. 20.5 billion half an hour impressions. So, if this was one billion impressions, right, then each of those one millimeters. Would be a million impressions. Right. To give you a sense of what 20 meters would be, or 20 billion impressions would be, it would be roughly the perimeter of this studio. Now let me tell you something else. This meter rule would then represent the viewing of Sun TV. Right. By itself. Right. That centimeter, any one of these centimeters, would represent the total aggregate viewing. Of this genre, of the English, well, business, genre, English, English business, business news, correct. About a couple of centimeters would be all English news, right? Or a little over a couple of centimeters. Star Plus would be about 80 centimeters. Colors would be about 70. A Z and Mole would be about 60. Now what we are trying to do is, you take this one meter of Sun TV. It's easy to do Sun TV because this entire meter mostly exists within Tamil Nadu, right? But when I take the one millimeter that corresponds to a the genre. entire genre, what are you going to do to slice it up? Right. That's the big question. No, uh, the conversations I've been having all of last week oh. is, uh, as with most sort of uh, measurement, whether it's readership or a poll or whatever it may be, it tends to be more and more accurate as the universe Scales of uh, consumers is larger and larger. Correct. And more and more fallible as we come to the bottom. Quite. So, what what is the implication of this bark uh, urban plus rural when it comes to, for example, a genre such as uh, news, okay. English news? Sorry. Okay. Now, the point is this: that you can use the measurement, except you need to be sensible about how you propose to use it. Now, you are saying you need to be sensible. You as now, we, the users, now, all the stakeholders, no, users. Yeah, I'm, I, I would, I'm going to break in as often as I would of course, feel like. Of course. Now, uh, Bark has uh, put out certain guidelines on Correct. how to use, on how usage. not to use. Yes, absolutely. For example, they say you cannot take one week's ratings. You should not, rather. Because of this reason. Now, the trouble is, people are doing it. Yes. So, w- where is this going to end? You know, it's not that there is somebody who is trying to be dogmatic or doctrinaire about it. The simple issue is that if I say that everything comes down to what do I do slicing that one millimeter down into its component parts, right. the problem is that that's where people start talking about volatility. It's inevitable. Right. From the point of view of the panel, the twenty thousand homes that we have in so the panel. So when I talk about the whole meter, the volatility is far less. Will diminish. Obviously. And the moment I go beyond that, yeah, it becomes very very safe to right. study. So what you then do is say that if I can't aggregate within a week, or if I can't aggregate within the day. Then I 
use larger periods of aggregation where right. automatically this you know the fallibility as you just called it diminishes over larger aggregates that's what those rules are about those rules are not being doctrinaire to say that you know thou shalt be caned if thou do as something different but simply because you get more reliable numbers right. right so we are encouraging that you aggregate across longer periods if your fundamental basis on which you're working is tiny right, right? and it is tiny in many many genres it's tiny all across english it's it doesn't matter what part of the english language you're talking about and and frankly you know even when you take something like sports if you move away from let's say the big marquee uh, right. the marquee sports now you've got little bit coming through on kabaddi you've got you know indian soccer league but when you go away from and of course you've say had the a, a wimbledon or a you're going to have to slide back down to the same so thing so you have the same problem you have absolutely one millimeter and that will be slicing and dicing into various cities and various into demographics nonsense. into nonsense yes yeah now let us presume rather, rather we know yeah that despite all your guidelines yeah you will have the channels yeah uh, flouting the rules or it's ignoring happening. the guidelines it's happening every yeah. day you open yeah. a magazine and you know it's up uh, now let, let us say we will take that as a given that channels will keep doing this mm -hmm. now wh how does the marketer deal with these millimeters you know uh, rather than with the with the with the meter my understanding is i mean when i speak to them that you know this stuff is fluff mm -hmm. i mean a lot of the advertising particularly that goes in the trade media uh people largely ignore it right because the way that they will ultimately do this is they will go to their planners and say hey listen give me a cogent and sensible explanation for your plan right so the planner is not going to depend upon some ads which came in the newspapers right. you know chest thumping is all very well uh but you know we don't become tarzans merely by thumping our chests so a lot of this is noise and i think planners and their clients are smart enough to look beyond the noise right other implication of all this now let us say it is not as if it's a big surprise right. that a genre such as english news or it's english small. business is small yes. we've always known it absolutely however mm. i think what is revealing about the urban rural data is how big some of the audiences right. are for other genres the gigantic is gigantic yeah which brings me to the next big question yeah. are we going to see rates change are we going to see you know cpm versus cprp for example suddenly we are seeing an m which is huge it is yeah. i mean 1 billion half an hour so, views in tamil alone so so in one channel so, salt sun tv so then yeah. they have been getting far less revenue or yield than it's they seem to deserve uh, or you could argue that differently because there's been a point of view that there is all sorts of advantages for sun to continue to under monetize their channel because it means that everybody else finds it very very difficult to compete with them but right. you know sure. that's a separate story so yes but to your fundamental question does this mean that the conversation shifts from talking about relative measures to absolute measures if this does not shift it nothing else will right so what what can prevent it from shifting it is all logical that the channels the business yeah. owners yeah. should want at yeah. least in large part yeah. to move to a cpm a fact, rather than cprp let me strengthen that argument for you we will keep doing uh, from this point onwards broadcast india every every year right broadcast india which we will also tell you when we say we we as in the stakeholder community right. of bark right. we will start doing broadcast india every year right which will give us the establishment the establishment for tv is still growing right and now it gets better because it's now digitized connectivity right so that paucity of bandwidth is gone right digitization is penetrating in fact one great learning from the rural data is it is evident that a lot of free to air platforms that ride on some of the free to air uh, dtch networks are actually delivering massively i mean zian mol is a fine example right. absolutely so this is as good a time as any other to start talking you know shifting the narrative towards talking absolute numbers in the audience say another opportunity this sort of throws up is suddenly uh, we say the better the measurement the better the business is correct we can take correct so is there a case now for new channels to be born mm -hmm. catering to either absolutely urban channel mm -hmm. or an absolutely rural channel or within absolute rural if i say i will talk only to tamil nadu or talk only to kerala is there a business case for it now there is a business case for talking to a part of tamil nadu right right forget about tamil nadu as an aggregate because now you can say that coastal tamil nadu that karakudi is a different market that the mountain parts of tamil nadu when you go to the nilgiris is a different market that the northwest tamil nadu is a different market and you can actually slice it at that level and start to see that there are behavioral differences because those differences are now evident so and it's happening i mean it's not even as if the market has been waiting for the ratings to arrive in right. some ways the market has been ahead do you think it's time for trading to begin on 
using bulk data? Well, you know, wh why is this? Why is this not happening? It's not as if there's no trading happening. Right. Right. We keep. I mean, you know, the bad news sort of gets highlighted, and you know, everybody hears it in the, you know in big glowing lights. But the reality is, the conversations are happening around this now. Whether this tool is able to actually do the precise level of planning, duplications, you know, uh, gross and net, maybe it's not being able to do all of it yet. Maybe BMW has some way to evolve. And frankly, the task that any operate you know user interface in India has is larger than anything that anybody has to deal with any, anywhere else in the world. So it will come around, but even if we can get to the point where our data, as in the bug data, are being used for planning and strategy, I think we've made the first step. The next step is transactional, and I think those steps will come. Thank you, Paisar. Thank, Thank you, Anand. So Definitely a lot to learn about the right way to read the new bug data. It is time for us to slip into a short break. When we come back, we speak to actor Rithik Roshan about the heroes that he looks up to.